Hallelujah. Well, the person who wants the largest touch of God here tonight, shout the loudest hallelujah. Let your amen roar like thunder as I pray now. And this is not ordinary prayer. It is important that you concentrate. It is important that your amen is louder than anyone around you. If your amen can embarrass the person around you, the quicker the power of God will visit your situation. There are people here tonight. There are people connected to us. There is a covenant to destroy you. This prayer will break that covenant to pieces. There are people listening to me now. The enemy has circulated your name for evil. And they are vigorously planning for your downfall. The prayer I'm going to start praying now will disgrace and embarrass the enemy. There are people here by the covenant of the family you have come from. You were born poor and you are supposed to die poor. If your amen can be serious, as I begin to pray now, the yoke shall be instantly broken. There are people here connected to us. There are things that are already in your body now. They've not grown up yet. But their agenda is to kill you. But as I pray this prayer, that token of the enemy will be destroyed. There are people connected to us. Right now, they're just planning all kinds of things against you. But if they do not leave you alone. After this prayer, they shall run mad and die. There are people hearing me now. There are situations that they have called chronic. Chronic. For example, they say you have chronic arthritis. Chronic hypertension. Chronic diabetes. All of a sudden, as I pray, you see the showers of power falling upon you. And that yoke shall be broken to pieces. There are people here. A single letter that will change the story of their lives for good forever has been sent to them but the enemy is injuring it but as I pray this prayer that I'm going to pray now whoever is sitting on your document of breakthrough will be unseated by fire father in the name of Jesus that amen is not loud enough. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, thank you because you are greater than the greatest. Thank you because you are higher than the highest. Thank you for your everlasting power. Thank you for your power which never fails. Thank you because it is written. With man, this is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. Every hour of impossibility fired into the case of anyone. Backfire now in the name of Jesus.
Silence. This surgeon angels have just moved into the mist. A rope has been taken out from the head. A rope has been taken out from the, out from the waist. A pin has been taken out from the womb. Fire! Is burning to ashes. The garment of rags. Yes. Then. Silence. You that stubborn demon. That you are refusing to let this sister go. Father. Baba. I ask for a consignment of 200 angels with their whip of fire to whip that demon out of that hiding place. In the name of Jesus. Whip. Whip that. As a woman, you came here with cancer. Go back and check. The arrow has come back to the center. Thank you, Jesus. Have you seen God bless you? Connecting to the lifter of heads. Connecting to the lifter of heads. Connecting to the lifter of head. In Psalm 3, verse 3. Psalm 3, verse 3. But thou, O Lord, art a shield for me, ni asa for me, my glory, o go me, and the lifter at your of my Head. My glory and the lifter of my head. In 1 Samuel chapter 2, 
Ori kiji from verse seven. That is a kiji. First Samuel chapter two. Iwe kene Samueli. Ori kiji verse seven. Is a kiji. First Samuel two seven. Iwe kene Samueli. Ori kiji. Is a kiji. The Lord make it poor. Oluwa so di talaka and make it rich. Osi so di oloro. He bring it low. Ore sile and he also lifted up. Osi be soke. He raised up the poor out of the dust. Obe talaka soke lati inu erupe wa and lifted up the beggar from the dungle. Obe alagu soke lati ori ato wa to set them among princes. Lati ko wan law. And to Job make them inherit the throne of glory. For the pillars of the earth are the Lord's. And he had said the word upon them. Connecting to the lifter of heads. I prophesy upon your life. That no matter your level now. God will lift you up. No matter the setback you have been having. If I say you God will lift you up. The Lord God of Elijah. Shall circulate your name for lifting up. In the name of Jesus. If you are down financially, it shall lift you up. If you are down maritally, it shall lift you up. If you are down spiritually, it shall lift you up. If you have been bogged down by delay and disappointment, it shall lift you up. In the name of Jesus. If you are in the pit of shame, reproach, and failure, it shall lift you up in the name of Jesus. Perhaps you are listening to me now, and nothing is working again. You are suffering demotion. He shall lift you up in the name of Jesus. Perhaps now you are in the valley of impossibility. You are Mr. and Mrs. Nobody. He shall lift you up. Because he is the glory and the lifter of your head. Perhaps your expectations are always cut off. You are suffering rejection. Failure is staring you in the face. You are laboring without result. Doors are shutting against you anyhow. Your benefits are being given to others. Your promotion is being stolen. Hear me and hear me well tonight. He shall lift you up in the name of Jesus. But then, Shuban has a small problem. Zechariah, Zechariah, chapter one, Ori Kini, verse twenty-one. Ese koko leni ogu. Zechariah, we say second to the last book in the Old Testament. Oh, ni we to kongu si to kaya ni no maja mulai lai. Chapter one. Zechariah, Ori Kini, verse twenty-one. Ese koko leni ogu. This is where the battle of tonight. Must become very hot. Then said I, What come this to do? And speak, saying, These are the ones which have scattered Judah, so that no man did lift up his head. Head. There is a small problem. There are anti lifting powers. The Bible calls them horns. They scatter. People want to rise, scatters it. Accumulates money, scatters it. Accumulates integrity, scatters it. There are horns 
that scatter it so that heads cannot be lifted. But I've been sent tonight to prophesy upon your life that whatsoever power is pressing down your head shall die violently. In the name of Jesus. And every evil hand on your head and any evil hand on the head of your children, I command those hands to wither, to wither, to wither in the name of Jesus. So from these passages that we've read, we find that God is a lifter. A lifter. He lifted Abraham. Abraham okay. And he said, By you shall all nations be blessed. It's a lifting. He lifted Joseph. Joseph was an imprisoned slave. Joseph he lifted that imprisoned slave to a prince. A prisoner became a prime minister. And Potiphar's wife, who went to report him, and Potiphar, they had to now bow. For those of you who are expecting a mysterious touch tonight. Can you raise up your right hand and shout this violently seven times? And after shouting it seven times, you will now add a violent in the name of Jesus. Say, my enemies shall bow down to me. Are you ready to start now? Seven times. On the seventh time, you now had in the name of Jesus. Let's go! Number one. Number two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Amen. Amen. When we say divine lifting, we mean anything that God does that brings you closer to your divine position. When we say divine lifting, we mean divine favor. When we say divine lifting, we mean to be more than a conqueror. When we say divine lifting, we mean you will always be a step ahead, a step ahead of your adversary. When we say divine lifting, it means doors will be open to you that you don't even have the education or the skill to have. When we say divine lifting, you will have favor with people you have done nothing to hand that favor. When we say divine lifting, God moves you from depth to prosperity. When we say divine lifting, we mean for you to be the head and not the tail. Because those two positions are available. When we say divine lifting, we mean forward or upward movement. When we say divine lifting, it means God to define logic. It 
God defies logic. God defies background. God defies history. To move you forward. I want you to understand this. That divine lifting is a mysterious hand of God to shame your enemies. God is the only correct lifter of heads. The Bible says a man shall receive nothing except from above. If God has not elevated you, any promotion you get is promotion to nothingness and disgrace. But then, there are two situations in a man's life. The day in heaven, the day on earth. The day in heaven, is the day they announce your name in heaven for promotion. They announce your star for shining. And your enemies have had it. They even had it before you. They know you better than you know yourself. And so you didn't know that your lips has been announced. But the enemies know. And now starts a process of manipulation to press down your head. It is a dangerous thing for you to carry something good and you do not know. The enemy will use your ignorance to steal from you. I pray for you that you will connect to the lifter of earth. In the name of Jesus. When you connect to the lift of heads, you will have promotion that will astonish the recipient and even the spectators. You will have a lifting that is exceptional and extraordinary. A fantastic elevation that are unheard of. You receive what they call a wow blessing. You make smile to open in wonder. You get the promotion of how manage. How manage. Then you become a controversy. It's her. It's not her. It's him. It's not him. Because now your story has changed to glory. Receive the power to connect to the lift of head in the name of Jesus. When you connect to that lift of head, you will beat human promotions. You receive a lifting that you are ordinarily not qualified for. The Almighty God will wear for you an oversized jacket in form of blessings, uncommon lifting. Once you connect to the lifter of it, and you will say, Who did you know? How did it happen? What happened to you? When you connect to the lift of head, those who have been mocking you will change their opinion very quickly. Even those who hate you, they will admit that you are blessed. You will have a turnaround that will command envy. When you connect, to the lifter of heads. You receive promotion that deviates from the usual. It deviates from the usual. Being lifted is your covenant right. And your God whom you serve is a lifter. And he shall lift you up in the name of Jesus. 
But then, there is a day in heaven. A day on earth. Announcement is made. And they know it concerns you. And the enemy prepares himself to pull it down. Those are what is known as the horns. The horns represent the powers of darkness in all their ramifications. And the horns have various tentacles. One evil plantations two evil deposits when there is evil plantation evil deposits in the person's life they will ask a question you know the answer it will disappear from your brain three occultic arrows four fruitless effort Five, near success syndrome. Those are the tentacles. Six, placental manipulation. Seven, blood pollution. These are tentacles of the arms. Eight, Satanic poison. They put a poison in somebody's body. And the poison will be manipulating the life of the person. Nine. This unexplainable depth. Ten. Unexplainable hatred. People just hate you. They, they may like you before. All of a sudden, they now start to hate you. Eleven is blockages. Block the person. Twelve. Night feeding. It is bad to be eating in the dream. Bad to be eating in the dream. Thirteen. Dream attacks. Fourteen. Sacula problems. As one problem is going, another one is coming. As one is going, another one is coming. Fifteen. Periodic attacks. Attacks that come when somebody is close to a breakthrough. 16. Parental hatred. It is unfortunate, but it is true. But the greatest antagonist of some people's lives are their siblings. Sibling rivalry is a very serious matter. I went to Seventeen. False visions. False prophecies. I saw tell There are tentacles of the arms. Many just submit their lives so people because of spiritual laziness. They refuse to develop themselves spiritually. So they go from prophet to prophet. Prophet, pray for me. Daddy, pray for me. And that's what they're doing. And the man who has not seen anything God did not show him anything because you have put him under pressure. You have, you have called him Baba Prophet. He will see something by force. And when he gives you that first vision, he will say, Okay. 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 This is a serious matter. And I want you to understand it. One of our pastors used to work 
with a false prophet before he, he joined us and became a pastor. It, he told me a sad but funny story. So when people come to visit the prophet, say, I need three fat chicken. They must be difficult to carry those chicken. I want the Say those people will bring the chicken. They are the ones who will remove the feathers. I want I want to hear the Say they will now roast the feathers. I want they put it in a bottle. They give it to the person who came to prophet to be leaking. Why they are busy eating the chicken? May you not become a mad person. Because spiritual madness. Eating. Rejection. Nineteen. Enchantment. Fire. And twenty. Ogun. Negative prophecy. As These are tentacles of the anti-lifting powers. I'm praying for somebody here. And these powers will be disgraced in your life in the name of Jesus. You say, what do I do tonight? You need to surrender your life to Jesus. You need to repent from every known sin. You need to pray against these horns. The horns that scatter so that you cannot lift your head. That's where we are. You want to give enough time for that prayer. Bow down your heads where you are. In case you are here tonight, and you are not born again. Oh, you have not to surrender your life to Jesus. Do so by raising up your right hand where you are. And say what I'm going to say after that. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Rise to your feet now. All eyes closed. The prayers of tonight. One particular character is needed to pray them. Is only anger. Any power that does not want you to be lifted. When you know there are so many destinies attached to your own destiny. And that if you don't rise, they cannot rise. It's a power to deal with. Violently and aggressively. Can you shout this loud and clear?
Thank you, Jesus. Please bring out your tithes and your offerings now. As you pray on that tithe and the offering. Father, we thank you for this tithe and the offering. A good measure pressed down. Falling over. Let it be our lot in the name of Jesus. Father, Baba, lay your hands upon us. Anoint us by your power. Anoint us by your glory. Move into our body, soul, and spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus. Christ. Please. This first three prayers has already acquired multiple angels to answer those who will pray like blind Bartimaeus from the heart. Blind Bartimaeus did not say his prayers. He cried his prayer. Okay. Can I hear everybody shouting this louder than anyone around them? Assigned to make me die the death of my enemies. Can you shout this loud and clear? Thou power of God. Can you shout this loud? Disgrace the laughter of my enemies. This is number three of those first set of prayers. Wicked elders. Say it with a wicked voice. Investigating my glory. In the name of Jesus. 
Father, we thank you for answers to those three prayers. Father, as many as will pray the next three prayers, let their testimonies be mysterious. Let their testimonies be outstanding. That I vowed that I will not get to the top. What are you waiting for? In the name of Jesus. Jesus name we pray. Challenging my star. Before I leave this place, in the name of Jesus. Yes. name we pray. Shout this with violence. Say, arrows Arrow. of last minute disappointments. Do not do that. In Jesus' name we pray. Lord, who called Jesus to love God, do not. Battles against my original self. Lord, you see, I know you know me. Can you say it loud? Scatter in the name of Jesus. Scatter the battle to our Gunoka. Jesus' name we pray. Lord, God, Jesus, Lord. Domestic witchcraft. Again. Pressing down my hand. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Jesus' 
name we pray. Now I want you to pray specific prayers. If it's your business, say, Oh God, arise. In my business, lift me up. If it's marriage, Oh God, arise. In my marriage, lift me up. If it's career, Oh God, arise. In my career, lift me up. If it's calling, Oh God, arise. In my calling, lift me up. Are you ready now? Open your mouth and pray. Be specific now. Pray specific prayers. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus. Name we pray. Uh, some people connected to this program. I want come what you want so for my body. Some people hearing me. I want come by me by the prayer you have prayed here today. Within 24 hours, you shall see the manifestation. of breakthrough you have never been ushered into. You shall be ushered into it in the name of Jesus. Stretch your right hand towards this altar. Father, let this hand become the hand of healing and deliverance. Let it become the hand of signs and wonders. As you use this hand, every infirmity shall go back to the center. In the name of Jesus. If you have any infirmity, any part of your body, smite it 21 times. Shout him fire. Let's go. Let's bring out our mana water now. And let your amen roar like thunder as I pray. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. We lift our mana water unto you. Let your power, your glory, your mightiness, I enter into this water in the name of Jesus. You water, destroy every sickness. Let the authority of ease enter into this water in the name of Jesus. Let the anointing of ease enter into this water in the name of Jesus. Let this water become the water of deliverance. Water of breakthrough. Water of power. Water of glory. In the name of Jesus. And I sanctify, consecrate, dedicate this water in the name of the Father, the name of the Son, the name of the Holy Spirit. In the name of 
Thank you, Heavenly Father. The Lord blesses you from Zion. Make his face to shine upon you. And be gracious unto you. You shall go from strength to strength. And from glory to glory. Every prayer request out. Father, answer them by fire. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let us share the grace of fellowship. 